I'm Nick Pomeroy with PR Equipment out in here, out here in Currens, Texas. Uh, today we're, we're doing another edition of, of Does Your Tractor Measure Up? Um, today we've done this in the past with the 4707 Massey Ferguson versus the Case IH 75C, which is the same as the New Holland 75 Power Star, I think. Maybe it's the Workmaster. I always get those two confused. But today we're doing uh, probably maybe the most popular Challenger versus the, 40, uh, the, 50, uh, the 4707, which is the 5075E Deer. And we are big on a couple things here at PR Equipment. Obviously, we want to be your dealer, and uh, we, we believe real heavily in, in education. And so we just wanted to bring out the old tape measure, do a couple common measurements that might mean something to you when you're shopping for a tractor. We're going to do these measurements, let you check it out, see, see how this tractor stacks up to that one, and see if it holds true that you get more with Massey. Um, one of the first things that you notice, and I've got to start here, even though I'm going to backtrack a little bit, but I have to start here is when you look at these tractors is the size of the front tires. Um, the, the deer front tire, and I'm, I could tell you the sizes, but I just want to do some rough measurements for fun. To, to the top of the tread, it's about 39 and a half inches. And it's about, I don't know, 10 inches wide. This tire is 45 inches tall and about 13 inches wide. So three inches wider, about six inches taller. Um, just a lot more front tire. We already talked about the fact in another video that these are radials versus bias plies. A lot of, obviously better, longer wear, but, but smoother ride, you can run lower, lower pressures. There's a lot of advantages here, but we're measuring stuff. One of the other things I noticed was ground clearance. And I, I think it's pretty obvious. You're gonna see a better ground clearance from this tractor because it's got bigger tires. But let's just see what that looks like. To me, it looks like the lowest point is right there on the bottom of the diff. Looks like a little under 14 inches. Let's say our tractor were 16 inches. So obviously a little bit taller. We would expect that, of course, primarily because, uh, you know, like say bigger tires. And I don't know how we're gonna do this, but I'd really like to measure the pivot pin to the ground. So let's see, this might be an utter embarrassment. It's just too windy. Let me come to the other side. I got 10 foot, two inches. Somehow, I don't think this is gonna work as easy because our pins are designed different, but wish me luck. I got 11 foot. Uh, now obviously that's to the top of the tape measure, so figure three inches or whatever for that. Uh, not quite a foot taller, but close. I, quick point of reference, this is a Euro mount loader and this is a skid steer mount loader. The Massey can come either way. Uh, there's lots of loader options. There's actually, I think, two loader options for the deer, three loader options for the Massey, and you can kind of pick your poison. Everything we offer is, a, is, is some sort of quick mount, like a, a Euro mount, skid steer, whatever. John Deere, if you're gonna buy a John Deere, make sure you get the Euro mount and not the John Deere mount. Let's go. On the back tires. So back tires honestly look pretty similar Height wise, but let's just take a peek here. Looks like, I don't know, maybe a little under 56 inches. We're about 58 inches there. Um, keep in mind though, we've got a little more bulge here. We, we set these tire pressures pretty low on these Masseys. Um, we do that for ride quality. Uh, also you get more traction. Uh, we're pretty, pretty aired up pretty tight on the bias flies. And you gotta kind of keep them aired up a little bit tighter, I think on the bias flies. They don't like to, to run that bubble. Um, as far as width of the tires go, and now there are other tire options. Th these are kind of the base model. This is an R30 tire. We also offer an R34. This is an R28 tire. I, they probably offer something else too, but um, we're about 18 inches wide and they're about 16 inches wide. So here again, a couple inches difference. Com coming from the back, a few things to measure um, that I think are important is one, the, the there's about three or four things that we measure with the case, and I think we'll measure the same here. But a couple things stick out to me right off the bat, and that's the size of these adjusters that lift the three-point. 
They look dinky here. I want to confirm that. That's not an inch. Probably seven eighths of an inch that, that rod is threaded there. Compared to an inch and a quarter for the threaded rod that supports that. One other quick point. Look at how we support the bottom, the lower lifting link. It's a Cleva style lifting link that we're supporting, supporting on both sides. We're doing the same with our sway links. Let's look at the deer. So the deer has a Cleva style, not nearly as heavy, but it has a Cleva style for the sway link. But look at this lifting link. It's, it's only supported on one side. That, that Massey is, I don't want to say, you know, I don't want to embellish the truth. It's a lot, lot stronger though. I don't, I don't know exactly how strong, double, triple, whatever, but God, having that Cleva style is a big difference versus what you're doing here. Just a much, much heavier three-point system on that one. Um, one other thing that I noticed, the, the bracketry that holds your, your draw bar up is, is interesting to say the least. Um, it's it's kind of hard to measure because it's, it's not a thick plate. It's a very, very thin plate that's rolled over. But at the bottom, it sandwiches with this other piece and it's welded. But if you actually go off the thickness, I mean, it's less than a quarter inch to support that. It's just rolled over. I, I guess I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt though and go with the sandwich piece and say, both those pieces together are a little under half an inch. With the Massey, it's all one solid piece and it's about three quarters of an inch thick. Um, so much, much heavier. You can also tell like the support for the, for the draw bar Ours is about an inch and a quarter. Theirs is a little under an inch, probably seven eighths. Um, big difference on that. It's hard to measure like three point cylinders because obviously John Deere is still using the old school style internal cylinder where we're using the dual external mounted cylinders. A lot easier to, to, to you know, maintenance and things like that. Um, let's do the draw bar. It's like an inch and three eighths or not quite inch and a half by two and, I don't know, more than two and a half, maybe two and three quarters. So we're just a little shy, we're real close. We're about two and a half on the width. And the thickness, it's actually pretty comparable. It's a little under inch and a quarter. What did I say this one was? It's a little thicker, but they're actually pretty close on draw bar thickness, so, so that's not too crazy. Um, and I noticed even on three-point arm length, you know, this is always a hard one to measure because Massey's kind of got this forged arm and it's kind of rounded on both ends. It's almost four inches, but maybe we'll call it three and three quarters, three and a half. I don't remember what I said last time I measured it. So this is three inches tall by almost an inch thick. And this is basically an inch thick too. So this is a little stouter. One thing to note, uh, just if my memory serves me when I did the case tractor, the case three point linkage, the arms and everything were very, very light as well. I mean, they were lighter than even the deer was. Now the one thing I, will, I cannot say this enough, I do not like how they attach that lower, that lower link. There's a lot of stress on that point and they're not supporting it with the clevis. It's just one bolt sticking out the side of the transmission. There's nothing about that that I like. I, I don't like that at all. Um, let's see. Uh, let's let's look. There's some quick cab measurements and kind of get an idea. Like, I don't know that this is super relevant, but the back glass on this Massey is four foot wide. And the back glass on the deer is only 33 inches, but they kind of use more of the curved window thing. So I don't know that I'm going to knock them too hard on that. But let's measure the inside of the cabs. So when we measure the inside of the cabs, we've got, I don't know, it's about 52 inches inside to inside. I guess I better shut the other door so I can measure against it. Hold on. <laughs> 
that's the thing with the Massey though, you get two doors come standard where with the, the deer you just get the one. So we're about 55 inches, so it's about three inches wider. The other thing you notice is the size of the door though. If you look at the base of the door, it's 14 inches on the Massey and, and maybe 12 inches on the, on the deer. But if you look at the overall door, it's 29 inches on the deer and 42 inches. So what was that? 29 versus 42. It's just a, a lot bigger door. Um, and I'm gonna try my very best to do a front to back measurement to kind of get an idea. Looks like 59 inches. And keep in mind, these are quick and dirty measurements. I don't know that anybody else has done them though. So I guess you'll have to go with me. So 59 versus 55. So I, I, the Massey's got a bigger cab. And one other thing I thought was kind of an inter interesting measurement one of the biggest shocking things that I learned when I started comparing these tra two tractors was how cheap of a seat that the deer comes with. Um, it doesn't swivel, the arms don't move, and it doesn't have air ride, it's spring suspension. Uh, so, what, but one thing I wanted to measure was the seat pad, and I measure that because I'm a big guy. Their, their seat is 19 inches wide. Ours is 21. Um, I think it's a, it's a, like I say, bigger cab, bigger seat, buddy seat comes standard. It's, it's hard to see how these tractors, I mean, there's, there's a few areas where the Massey just, just kicks butt. There's a few where it's close, but in every aspect, this Massey just gives you more. Um, a couple other things I guess I'm kind of interested in. And I really don't know where to measure it, but if you look at the subframe mounts for the loader, you got to keep in mind, our base loader is comparable to what this loader is, but we go way up from here in terms of what our capacities can be. But our subframe mounts are a little over an inch thick. And those are probably three quarter. Heavier subframe mounts for the loaders. Um, the axles, I always kind of like to look at the axles I don't know whether to go a top measurement. It's kind of hard because you can see it, it tapers. So I don't know really where to pull the measurement from, but we're gonna say like right here, we're, we're maybe five inches tall and about four inches deep. We're about four and a half inches tall. Now it does have this extra rib, so I'll give it the credit there. About three, three and a half inches deep. So a little heavier front axle on what you're seeing. I think for the last measurement, I'm gonna try to do, I don't, I guess I'm not gonna measure the tire width because obviously it's adjustable on both tractors and you can see this one is dished way out. So this is the widest stance on this one. And this is almost the narrowest this can be. So I don't know that that matters, but let's measure wheelbase. And I know somebody's gonna get on John Deere's website and say, well, you didn't, you're two inches off. But I'm gonna do my very, very best to say, I'm gonna say it's 80, 81 inches. Maybe give it 82 to be fair, to be nice. Um, this, this just isn't fair at all. Um, let me kick it back a little bit. I'm pretty, obviously like I say, probably a spec sheet's better at this. I'm saying we're at 90 inches. I think that's pretty fair. I think that's a 82, so it's eight inches longer. Now, in all fairness, there is an upside and a downside to that, to that wheelbase. The upside is this is gonna run smoother um having a little longer wheelbase always helps it run smoother it's gonna lift those you know the the heavier weights a little bit better because it's not gonna be quite as tippy the downside is typically with a shorter wheelbase it will turn a little sharper so like i say there's pluses and minuses to each side you know to each tractor uh in terms of wheelbase but i think the key thing that i just can't get over and and, and we have spec sheets inside is how much more tractor you get i think I think, well, I'll tell you what, 
Let's go inside and look at our chart and see how it compares in terms of weight and a few other specs that we like to look at. So we're inside here. I wanted to go over this handy chart. This is a chart of 75 horsepower tractors, uh, some of the competitive models and, and how do they stack up. So one thing I really wanted to point out was the base weight. So four wheel drive cab base weight is 8223 or 8223 pounds on the Massey. 6,700 pounds on the 5075E. You're talking 1,500 more pounds between these two tractors. That's crazy. And I also noticed that based on my measurements, I was pretty close, right? So I said 80 to 81 inches on the John Deere. It was 80.7. I'm really proud of myself on that measurement. And then uh, I said 90 inches on the Massey, but apparently I was a little generous. It's actually 88.6, so real close. One thing I did notice is that this, this tractor that we did look at does have two-speed PTO, uh, but check out the lift capacity on the three-point, 4,850 pounds versus 3,192 pounds on the deer. And I think you saw that based upon the measurements that we took with the, with the linkages and things. There was a big, big difference. So guys, uh, and it talks about the, the tires, this chart kind of talks about some of the things that we went over, but obviously we wanted to see it with our own eyes. It's great to see it on paper, but we wanted to prove this point. And so y'all, we want to be your Massey Ferguson dealers. So if y'all are interested in a new piece of Massey Ferguson equipment or any of the equipment we sell, uh, reach out to us, 903-270-0877. We can call or text that line. Um, feel for, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Let us know if you like what we're doing. Like us on Facebook. Uh, like we, we enjoy doing this educational piece of it, but we definitely enjoy it more when we know that you guys are, are, are liking it and, and, and interacting with it. Thanks, y'all.